The U.S. Coast Guard has suspended search and rescue operations for six construction workers now presumed dead after a cargo ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore overnight. Portions of the 1.6-mile bridge collapsing as a result of that impact. Still so stunning to see. With more on that collapse, I'm joined by Dr. Miran Romani, Assistant Professor of Civil Engineering and Construction Engineering Management at Cal State Long Beach. Thank you so much, uh, Assistant Professor, for being with with us tonight. First question for you. Would any bridge in the world survive a direct hit from a cargo ship of this size? Uh, the answer is no, uh, would not, because this is a very rare event. Uh, the size of the cargo ship, as well as uh, uh, if you consider the Newton's law, as simple as that, the mass times acceleration, it provides uh, a significant force that would not leave anything uh, behind. So if this ship was supposed to run into any piers or any bridge, it would have caused a failure. That is uh, stunning in itself just to consider. Uh, how rare is this? Because I know this has not happened all that much in our history. Sure. So cargo ships are getting bigger and bigger uh, every year. In other words, uh, it would be more efficient for them uh, to be larger and be uh, accommodating more containers on them. So uh, bridges that are from 60s and 70s, uh, they may not be as tall or high for some of these uh, new, uh, uh, basically, cargo ships. And these cargo ships have to be very precise in passing under this bridge for this particular uh, bridge, um, probably the very perfect center line of the bridge had the highest clearance for this type of cargo. So a little bit deviations from that line could uh, simply uh, cause uh, uh, accidents such as this one. However, this one was directly to one of the piers, which is the worst case scenario basically that happened unfortunately, but it could also hit part of the deck, which is usually less uh, damaging. When we're seeing this picture, we're seeing that some of the, the, the bridge and the pylons remain. So it snaps in the middle, portion, portion, portion go, yet some of it does remain. What do you make of that? Yeah, so uh, the bridge is consist, consists of two uh, systems. One is the steel truss system, which was the arch system that was at the center, sitting on two uh, foundation, chevron-shaped foundation and pillars, uh, as well as two side spans, which were the continuation of that steel truss. So this was a piece separate than the rest of the bridge, which are called the simple span concrete uh, bridges. You can see they are still standing. Um, so this ship ran into one of the uh, piers, main piers of the center span, causing a uh, collapse of the center span and the immediate side span of it, as we can see in the picture. And then uh, as soon as the balance from the center is gone, in other words, that cantilevering effect is gone, the other side, side the span also was collapsed, but it was just for this one piece steel truss structure. The remaining uh, concrete simple span bridges, they stayed intact, which is normal. Let me ask you, we have less than a minute. I'm hoping to get two more questions in, so let's keep your uh, answers as brief as possible, if you could. Uh, what, and now that I just said that, my first question just escaped me, of course. No, sorry. Uh, locally, which bridges come to mind that you're now concerned of when you see the images of Baltimore? Um. I don't have any bridge in mind. I'm glad that our um, the recent Gerald Desmond replacement bridge uh, that was in at the port of Long Beach. Uh, this has its piers, the uh, tall piers, uh, offshore, uh, basically. Sorry, onshore, uh, and that actually gives uh, you know a, a safety margin for such accidents. So this is something that I'm very glad that we have this new uh, cable state bridge. Um, in Southern California, no, but other bridges, uh, I would say this should be a uh, rare accident. So okay. uh, I would say maritime community also should look at the regulations of sailing these cargo ships. Uh, but it's really not the structural uh, issues of bridges themselves, it's okay. more of a rare accident.
Okay, we'll, we'll leave our conversation there, but I will point out that when uh, Transportation Secretary Buttigieg made a comparison to the 10 freeway in L.A. and the rebuilding of that that we saw happen within about eight days last November, you said that was sort of comparing apples to bananas. It wasn't really the same thing in terms exactly. of a repair timeline. The okay. I-10 was an over, overpass crossing that could have been uh, propped up using significant shoring uh, under it, uh, for temporary shoring, I would say. But okay. this one is, was a complete collapse, so probably wouldn't be able to salvage any part of this bridge. Got it. Okay. Dr. Uh, Moran Romani, Cal State Long Beach, appreciate you. Thank you so much.